Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. My name is Fatima Farmer and in today's video I want to share with you a few tips to deal with insecurity. So living in this world, especially with social media and as a woman, we can have moments where we feel insecure. Growing up in a world that tells us that having brown skin and thick kiki hair is not considered beautiful can sometimes make us feel insecure. Had so much growth when it comes to like physical appearance and feeling insecure in those ways and also on the inside feeling insecure in some way and I want to share with you guys some tips that I have used personally to just transform the way I perceive myself which has ultimately led to me having more confidence being okay with how I look and how I am and accepting that okay I'm an introvert but I'm not necessarily shy like it I just have this confidence about myself now that I didn't have before and a lot of it came from these tips that I'm going to share with you guys. Number one is to acknowledge your insecurities. Everyone has them. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's nothing to feel ashamed of. Everyone has them. Even people who seem perfect, even people who feel, who seem like their life is perfect and they have it all together. Um, every single person on this earth has an insecurity about something so acknowledge that and accept that you know I'm not alone it's not a huge deal that I'm insecure about whatever it is fill in the blank so number two is to figure out what triggers those insecurities are you insecure because you're comparing yourself to other people on social media are you insecure because you hang out with friends that aren't really your friends and they kind of just pick fun at the things that you're insecure about are you insecure because your family members constantly bring up you know the the flaws that you have what triggers your insecurity for me for a really long time my insecurity came from comparison looking back at it now I know that comparison was a huge trigger for me um, so think about what those triggers are for you and if it is something like comparison stop doing it it's really that simple you have to stop doing it once i stopped doing it and also once i started spending so much time in the word because something like comparison i can make a whole video on this actually but something like comparison that's not something that you can remove on your own like you can't just say i'm gonna stop comparing myself today and just think that it's never gonna happen again you need the strength of something bigger than yourself and as a christian i personally rely on the word to get me through because I'm, I'm almost 26 and I still have moments when I compare myself not so much physically but more so more so like where I am in life you know like what I imagined it to be and where I am and sometimes I'll see other people that are my age that are doing really well for themselves and I'm just like oh well how come I didn't get and instead of just thinking like you know what let me just not compare because that didn't work for me for a really long time what I do now is I focus on the word, I focus on scripture, I focus on what God says about me and that transforms my thinking. I stop thinking so much about how people are perceiving me and I focus on what I know as fact based upon the Bible. So here's a verse for you guys that I think would be extremely helpful if you struggle with that. And if you want to see a video on comparison, make sure you thumbs up. The scripture is Romans 12 2. It says, do not be conformed to this world be transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of god what is good acceptable and perfect another one that i really like pertaining to this topic is galatians chapter 1 verse 10 that says for i am now seeking the approval of man or of god or am i trying to please man if i were trying to please man i would not be a servant of christ simply put it's right there. the third and final tip is to think of a way to embrace it every single day so for me um, when I was struggling with um, physical appearance what I would do was I started to embrace the things that I didn't like about myself or that being kind of like afraid of being myself because people are gonna say oh that's weird or oh you're weird it's like I just embraced it. I embraced being the weird one. I embraced being the introvert. I embraced being me, you know? And every single day, it's like you take one small step to embrace more of the things that make you feel uncomfortable. And before you know it, you'll start to 
really own that confidence so the next video is actually going to be about confidence i'm really excited to talk to you guys about that but i want to hear from you comment down below what is one thing that you either are or were insecure about can't wait to hear from you guys in the comment section thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video on insecurity, make sure you check out the description box and head over to my blog to read the blog posts and also to listen to the podcast on this topic.